sense the enthusiasm that you have. First time at Tanglewood, uh, take me through. What was it like for you? It was fantastic. I just loved it. The audience is obviously so enthusiastic. And anytime you have an audience that you can just tell come to these events a lot, they're already up for it and you get their enthusiasm. So it's a lot of fun. teamed up here on this uh, beautiful Saturday afternoon uh, with uh, Bud Danner and it was, it was great to hear the vocals from both of you and you know it was interesting to hear her jazz roots. It's really interesting to hear Blythe sing jazz because this isn't something that she usually reveals to people. She, as she mentioned she's done a lot of things at Williamstown and so she would do some Dave Frischberg for their fundraisers or things like that but she's a pretty shy person which a lot of actors are. That, and you'll notice that a lot of times if people go on a, The Tonight Show or something like that, a lot of the actors aren't really comfortable because they don't have a script and that sort of thing. Blythe is more comfortable, but at the same time, she, by her own admission, is, is shy. So to do this, it took a lot. It's because we're friends and I talked to her about it and I said, I think it would be fun. And so she went with it. And we're all lucky because she did, because she's so great. Stay there. Do you see how it went like that? Right there. Oh, you are darling. You're driving me crazy. What did I do to you? My tears for you. People got to see you in action. I mean, people who know you from being on the radio as well as from seeing you perform. I am just curious to know how that can fit together because it's not an easy thing to do to be a host. It's not an easy thing to be a musician, but you can combine those. Well, oh, that's very generous of you. It's. I felt like it was a circus because I had so many different things going on. And I think, funnily enough, I think the skills that I use with stride piano which you have to have a lot of, of independence in your mind, in your brain, to separate all those things and have so many things going on at once, probably make me well suited for this sort of thing. And everybody, and I say this very sincerely because I've worked for so many different festivals and things, everybody here at Tanglewood was so together in terms of we will have this here for you, we'll have this here, we'll have that, that it was great for me because I knew everything was taken care of. That's the one thing about it. It's unpredictable. You can learn every time you turn on the radio or go to a performance. That's what I like about jazz. 
Absolutely, me too. And that it's it's always changing and reinvigorating itself, reinventing itself. That's what keeps us interested as jazz musicians. We're, we're making it up as we go along. That's very special. Clouding the skies of blue. How true were the friends who were near me. Believe me, baby, they knew. But you were the kind who would hurt me, desert me when I needed you. Oh, you, you're driving me crazy. What did I do? What did I do to you? Yeah, guys. Thank you.